So now it's time for the bronze medal match in the recurve mixed team event. Pairs of athletes will compete for these medals in uh, what is a very a lively competition. An interesting lineup. The two losing semi finalists go through into the bronze medal match. So, uh, having just lost, they need to pick themselves up, dust themselves off for a bronze medal. And it will be France versus China. France losing to Korea and the USA losing out by the same score, 6-2. Sorry, China losing out by the same score to the USA. So France will face China. So it looks like they're waiting in the wings. Let's go down to the red carpet and welcome the teams out onto the field of play. Damas y caballeros, recibamos con un fuerte aplauso al partido por la medalla de bronce entre Curvo Equipos Mixtos. China coming out first and uh, setting their kit down on target two. That's Lan Lu and uh, Wang Wenchuan. Italy in the quarterfinals, but then I'm lost to the USA in the semis. Lan, Lu, one, one, one. Damas y caballeros, recibamos con un fuerte aplauso el partido por la medalla de bronce en recurvo equipos mixto. And China face France in the shape of Audrey Addition and Thomas Schirrell. They beat uh, Japan in the quarterfinals before losing to Korea. Italiana numero uno, representando a Francia. Well, here we go. China will shoot first on target two. Line judge has declared the range set to shoot as we look down the 70 meter range in recurve archery, shooting at a target that's uh, 122 centimeters wide. Mackenzie, uh, you're pretty good at this. Salt Lake City uh, gold medal last year. Yeah, mixed team is one of my favorite events to uh, compete in. Um, one one thing to mention here is that Audrey has been on this field already, so hopefully she's given some uh, some pointers to her teammates, so maybe they'll start out really strong. China get us off the mark in the bronze medal match. Mixed team event. Shocking pairs before they switch over, so now we'll go over to the French pair. The uh, idea is to uh, get a high score over the four arrows, and if you do that, you get two set points. Teams are tied at the end of a set. It's a point yeah, each. Do that. Best of four sets. First to five wins. Oh, well. we, yes. And uh, Audrey yes, in the middle there, so I think uh, again she has a little bit of experience on this finals field, um, but also just makes a really good shot right in the middle. China hey. answers. Yeah. 
Well, 37 out of a possible 40 for China. A little bit of a quick shot. She seemed to not really like that shot, but a nine is good enough right now, and uh, hopefully your teammate can come back with a, a ten for her. Nine to, to tie up, ten to take the first two set points. Yes, yes. from the French coach. France take set one and lead 2 0 in the mixed team bronze medal match. French teammates looking on in support. It's McKenzie. How important is the communication between uh, the coach and uh, the athletes at this point? I think the communication is really good, keeping everybody on cue. And then I mean, you look at these uh, these groupings, and uh, France is still grouping a little low. Uh, China does not seem to have really a pattern here, but um, still really good shooting. I mean, I, I would love to shoot a 37 in a, in a finals match. So, um, yeah, like you say, the Chinese team, the spread was quite wide. Going back to what, you know, what, how important is the coach in these breaks? Yeah, I, I think the coach is important to keep everybody calm and keep you collected um, and then give you any advice if, you, if they see something in your form, they see your, your timing's going a little long, um, but mainly they're just to, to keep encouraging oh! you. Well, China trailing will shoot first in the second set. France answered pretty good to kind of a wide window from, from the Chinese, uh, but it, it still seems to be a little bit of a question of, of grouping well right now. This one there for Chinese athletes. They have zoned in on the centre there, two tens. Uh, two tens from France will steal this set. Well, that has uh, now put this set out of reach. Uh, China can look on, relax, knowing that they've drawn level two set points. But uh, Thomas Chirau will still want to shoot a good arrow here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it seems to be that both teams are a little confused about when. Um, evident in that seven, but anytime you get to shoot a shot, it's it's a learning experience. It's something that you can you can learn more from and how to adjust for the next shot. Well, the grouping is very wide from the Chinese, but then they finished the set with these two tens and really centered in. Momentum swung towards the uh, 
athletes from China, Lan and Wang. And in yeah, so contrast to a uh, during play when the Chinese coach is very vocal and very loud, very, very quiet, you can only really hear the French coach in that break. Yeah, I think uh, the Chinese coach might just be letting their at the athletes talk to one another. Whereas during shooting is important for that coach. Oh, there he is. <laughs> As, uh, China step up to the shooting line. Set three in the bronze medal match in the mixed team recurve event here in Medellin. A very uh, confident shot from the Chinese uh, lady, so I think she just made the shot, didn't know it was going to drift too much, so... So if you do demand it, waving in the crowd... De l'amplitude, là, jusqu'au bout. Encore, tu te bats. Allez, 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 allez. Bonjour. Allez, ça joue. Oh Je vais arrêter de se dire. Je te laisse pas choisir. Tu as décidé, c'est comme ça. Peu importe ta chose. Good grouping from uh, from China on the the girl. I think maybe just adjust your aiming spot or maybe your side if you're comfortable where you're aiming. Nice finish there. Follows up his eight with a ten. But still an opportunity for France here. They can afford a ten and a nine and still take this set. Same spot. Um, that's an eight nine liner and maybe a nine. We'll have to wait for the judge to call that arrow. Yeah, the asterisk signifying that we will go to a measure. So currently the score is 35, but we are going to have a measure for the third arrow from France. If that gets marked up to a 9, they'll all be square, and uh, they'll share the points, and it'll be 3-3 at the moment. It stands 4-2 to China. Ten nine nine eight. Eleven. Eleven. Eight. And target two. There you go. Ten nine nine eight to a nine. We haven't had that uh, on our graphic just yet, but we heard the target judge confirming that uh, it's all square. Thirty six apiece in set three, and France and China are tied up on three set points apiece as we go into the crucial full set. Because what happens if uh, they're tied up again in the full set? Uh, they will go to a winner or shoot off similar to a team situation where each uh, each archer would shoot one arrow. So like a mini set, it's a half uh, set. Yeah, half a half set. Score counting in a tiebreaker first and then the measure, but uh, can one of these teams snatch it in the final set? China will shoot first. This for the bronze medal in the mixed team recurve. Oh, 
Right now, shooting first sometimes is not favourable, but it does mean you've got a chance to put a bit of pressure on your opponent. Yes, Bell. Very responsible. Thomas Schirrell. Allez, Audrey Deterle. You see what you've done. Solid. Ample. Yes. Shot, but uh, that's a 19 liner. I think we will still have to wait for another arrow call from a line judge. Well, the door has been opened after that perfect start from the Chinese. Uh, they dropped three points there in the second two arrows. 18 enough for France to take the match here. Oh dear. What on earth happened there? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I think the arrow may have uh, clicked early and she just was going to let down, let go of the arrow. Well, from a position where they look like they could take this one. France throw in a six, and China have taken the bronze medal. It took four sets to decide it, but uh, the People's Republic of China comes through against France in the bronze medal match to win 5-3, and they will be on the podium a little bit later on. Oh, Mackenzie, I'd love to know what happened to that six. I mean, the, the French weren't cheating anywhere near sixes. They were much more in the center. Uh, pressure, a gust of wind? Oh. I think it was solely off of the archer. Um, so what I mean by it clicked early is we, for recurve shooters, um, there are uh, our winners. Really happy. Yeah, there's confirmation that China have taken it. They did leave the door open for the French. The French couldn't capitalize. <laughs> 